I started my climbing journey at Haycock only two years ago, and I can still clearly remember the days of flailing on V3s, getting shut down by countless V1s, and showing up to my V5 projects session after session, hoping for ascend. Granted, this was when I was crazy enough to be out there in 85 degrees and 70% humidity, but you get the point. It was around this time when I discovered the Pennsylvania bouldering film. Over an hour long of pure Pennsylvania classics, and a whole section devoted to my new favorite climbing area. I watched the clips of Haycock boulders almost religiously to get myself psyched for the next climbing trip out there. But every time, one boulder in particular caught my eye. It was this perfectly formed, black and gray streaked vertical face which at first glance looks completely blank. Sitting quietly in the woods for hundreds if not thousands of years, Yosemite Crack has always been, in my mind, the centerpiece of Haycock Mountain. But at the time, a boulder like this was seemingly so far out of reach that I could have never believed that one day, I too could be pulling myself over that lip and proudly standing on top of it. All right, we are en route to Haycock, but first, I like to play a game with myself called How Fast Can You Place Your Order at Wawa? Beat that, losers. Okay, so this will be my fourth or maybe fifth session on Yosemite Crack. Um, in the past, I had only really been able to do just the first move and hadn't gotten past that until last session, which was last weekend, um, and I made a lot of good progress. Hopefully this doesn't fall. So last weekend, I made a lot of good progress on the boulder. Um, I was able to do just about all the moves up until the last hold, like the finish jug, basically. I fell right as I was about to go for that. Oh, yeah, the high one. Oh, yeah. Get it. the corner. Pop. Yes. Come on. Hell yeah. You're in. You're in. Let's go! Oh! Man, that's... I felt good. Honestly, I felt less scared when I touched the cramp than I did like on this move. That move was scary for me for some reason. Yeah, that's terrifying. Come on. Good. Come on, Mark. Come oh, on. You're good. You're good. Yes, buddy. Great yeah. job. Solid. All right, now just think your thumb is locked in. This balance. You're good. There it is. Yeah. Bump, bump. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Yes, Mark. Nice. Find the foot, Mark. Come on. Woo! Woo! Come on. Woo! Feet, brother. Come on. I got you. I'm with Come you. Come on. Come on, man. You're good. Step yeah. up. I'm with you. Yeah! Oh! Fuck! Yeah, dude! Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Oh, that's it, I think. Let's go. Oh, oh my go, god, dude. so good, oh, dude. Woo! Oh, oh. Fire it up. Oh. 
Oh my god. Okay. I see, I see what's going on here. You see, are you, oh, are you yeah. feeling the train? Everybody's getting on the train right now. I'm so tired. So the boulder starts with a really low right hand pinch on kind of a non-existent hold and a really high left hand in a small pockety hold that you could I could kind of fit three fingers in but I can actually only pull off of it if I just use my back too and hold it fully open handed and I rely a lot on my skin to kind of grip the edge of the pocket on that move and it really tears you up so I'm not entirely healed from from last weekend but hopefully some super glue and tape can fix that. From the start holds basically you do a big lock off up and to the right to a Gaston that has kind of a tooth in it and it's kind of an uncomfortable hold, but it's not too bad if you get it right. From there, you shuffle the feet around and get a really high left foot onto a chip right next to your left hand start hold. And once you get the foot set, you can bring the left hand up to a small edge that's pretty decent. From there, you basically pull up bump the right hand up to a good Gaston that kind of has this thumb press you can do on the opposing side of the crack, which is pretty cool. And once you set your foot in that position, you have to do a pretty technical move where you stand up on that foot chip and reach for a slopey crimp with the left hand and then immediately bump to a better, more in-cut crimp. And from there you can switch feet and stand up tall and reach for the jug, but I can't quite reach that, so I opt for a really high foot up That's on nice. the tooth hold, or maybe just right above Come it. On. I'm not exactly Woo. sure. Woo. Come on. Woo. Come on. I got you. I'm with Come you. On. Come on, man. You're good. Step yeah. up. I'm with you. No! And hopefully at that point, you hit the jug and do one easy move to the lip and mantle your way over. He's got to pull on that hold a few times to yeah, that's a really get weird finger move. strength. Yeah, that thing's weird. You have to get it right early. If you spend yeah. too much time, it just feels worse and worse and worse. <laughs> Thanks. 
speed. Got you. Oh man. Definitely feels sharper than I remember. Fighting every move though, every yeah. step of the way. Yeah, dude. Got you. Oh, dude. Nice. Oh, my God. Hell yeah. Got you, bro. so fucking awesome. Yeah. I did not feel when I hit the second sharp grip. I didn't get it as good as Yeah, I noticed you. I want to. I kind of yeah. like had to walk my fingers onto it. But I was like, all right, I can't readjust. Uh -huh. I just felt like I was able to hike the foot up. I got it. And I was like, yeah, nice job, dude. Oh my god, dude. Awesome. Yeah, it was really perfect execution until this like is... you said that one move was a little little messed yeah. up, but you fixed it and this is like a, nice. a literal dream climb. Yeah, awesome, man. Congrats. But the mantle isn't as easy as it looks. It's a yeah, little... I, I noticed you uh, spent some time on it. Yeah. I think the uh, the height yeah, has definitely. a lot to do with that. You don't though. want to mess it up. <laughs> uh -huh. But there's, I mean, this is super jug. Yeah. And then there's right back up on here, there's like a vertical seam that you could kind of, I think I went left, I don't know which hand I used, to be honest. Nice, dude. But holy sh I'm so psyched. Yeah, nice work. It's awesome. Thank you. Glad I got to see you. Thank you. 